Hello everyone. The time has come to look back at our digital talks. And I feel incredibly fortunate to have had the opportunity to engage with exceptional experts and leaders in the maritime industry to understand the impact of digital transformation in our sector. And themes range from the role of technology to overcoming challenges, leveraging smart data to track cargo to improving supply chain decisions, and of course, the importance of data standards. So let's hear what everyone has to say, starting with why digitalization is a key imperative for our industry. So over the last two years, uh, we have seen much disruption along the supply chains, right, due to COVID-related port lockdowns um, and also one-off incidents like the Suez Canal Black Swan events or even the geopolitical uh, um, risks that we are seeing and encountering. Uh, what we have seen is that uh, schedule reliability is still one of the biggest pain points and that itself has brought a lot of knock-on effects into ports and we do see bottlenecks here and there. But I believe that these pain points could be overcome uh, with digitalization and data. Optimization of processes is necessary. Yeah? It complements the one big transition that the industry is facing, which is the energy transition. Now we must have zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 from shipping. Um, how do we get there? There are alternative fuels, there are new technologies, there are all types of supporting measures. Digitalization is one of them, like port call optimization is one of my favorites. Uh, you see, we have more than just a container to deliver. Sukafina is a coffee merchant and we are a family company like MSC. We need to have coffee delivered at the right time, at the right place and with the quality preserved. Every cargo trip has a story to tell. They are insights and data we want to leverage. No doubt that digitalization is the future of our shipping industry. Now let's hear about generating and leveraging data. So if we can make data-driven decisions based on facts and get that information faster so others can make their decisions, I think we're adding value to the supply chain community. There is a lot of data that are going through our ecosystems right now and it's a wasted opportunity not to connect them together. I think we need to think smarter about smart data. We need to open our arms to, to give a hug to the data. The tech won't lay off you, but they will help you. You need to grow in with the new technology. Everyone also highlighted the value of using industry standards as developed by DCSA, the Digital Container Shipping Association, which is a neutral non-profit organization established in 2019 by several of the largest container shipping lines. I think we're all uh, in agreement that we need good data, not just data. Yeah, sure, and especially uh, the standard, standardized data. Otherwise, we, we uh, are not able really to, to share easily. And uh, in that perspective, uh, we as, as Port Community Systems, we uh, really embrace also the coming of DCSA, who is really together with us as well, uh, defining new standards. Our clients have understood the benefits of, of going online, but we need standards to be able to improve systems interoperability. We work very closely with DCSA under your leadership, with MSC as well as MPA, on how we could share data to ensure that um, we all have that kind of seamless handshakes and the visibility that we need. I think that's the future. I'm so happy we can, we can run these uh, uh, pilot projects together. As a conclusion, I hope you found these insights valuable and I can only encourage you to watch the full videos since there's much more in each episode. Once again, I'd like to express my gratitude to everyone who contributed to these talks. They demonstrate the industry's remarkable alignment towards a digitally transformed and innovative future. Follow me on LinkedIn if you want to keep the conversation going. <laughs>